So I would like to uh, welcome you again. I'm um, Ryan Kastner. I'm a professor in the Computer Science and Engineering Department, and I want to uh, briefly tell you a little bit about uh, what's going on in our, our department. Uh, so first, just a, a quick uh, uh, overview of what we're doing today. Um, so we're here right now, so that's great. Um, after this, um, we're going to have a CSE Information Center uh, session, which is uh, basically a, a panel of undergrads that uh, will answer all of your questions. So we found in the past year that the undergrads do the best job of answering the questions because they're, you know, they haven't been 20 years out of school like most of the professors. Uh, after that, we're going to have a little food, uh, a little bit late, um, and there'll be a bunch of uh, faculty and staff there that you can meet and talk to. And then finally, after that, we'll, uh, we'll do some lab tours, uh, including uh, showing you some of the computer labs downstairs where you'll, you'll be spending a lot of your time uh, in classes, as well as uh, some of the research, undergraduate research that we're doing. So why, why should you come, or why should you do CS? Um, we have a really strong and excellent uh, curriculum. Um, we have amazing teaching and research faculty. Um, a great number of uh, uh, programs, extracurricular programs, organizations, and an amazing staff, and you'll meet some of those staff later. The staff is, is, is a very important part. These are the people you'll be talking to, asking about, should I take this class? How do I get into this class? Can I, can I get off the wait list? Things like that. Uh, and, and what we do is we're trying to make sure that you get into the, uh, the, best, uh, the best jobs and also get into grad school if you wish to do that. Um, so our curriculum has, has undergone a pretty major transformation in the recent years. Um, we uh, give you a lot of kind of the, the, the fundamental basis in your first few years. Um, and then in the last couple of years, you, you get to go into a lot of more advanced topics. And we have uh, research faculty that do a lot of different uh, work in a lot of different areas in networking systems, AI, architecture, theory, and so on. And we also have a lot of uh, interdisciplinary research, so we work a lot with the people in uh, electrical and computer engineering and CalIT, like Frieder mentioned, uh, bioinformatics, we have a program in that, um, uh, vision, graphics, and so on and so forth. Um, we have uh, four degrees. Um, you can get a BS and CS, um, a BS and CE, a BA and CS, and also a, uh, a bioinformatics uh, program. Uh, and also there's a five-year program that uh, you can get your master's and your, and your BS in, uh, in five years. Um, and then uh, as you get uh, more and more involved in classes and learn a lot more, uh, you get to take a, a bunch of upper-level classes. Uh, and we have a bunch of uh, great labs, uh, downstairs labs in the CSE building um, where you spend, unfortunately, a lot of your time, uh, a lot of late nights. Um, CalIT, as Frieder showed you, where there are those amazing uh, visualization uh, supercomputers as well. Um, so uh, there's a couple of classes that I want to highlight that are more uh, upper-level classes. Um, one is called CSE 125, which is a software systems uh, um, class. And essentially what that class is doing is you make a video game. Um, and then there's another class, a new class called CSE 145, uh, that is an embedded system design project. And in that class, you play a lot with, with different robots and sensors and things like that. Um, so our faculty is, is outstanding. We have a, a, a very young department, a very vibrant department, uh, over 50 faculty um, with a number of, of awards. Uh, just to highlight a few that uh, recently happened, uh, Dean Tulson uh, is a computer architect, uh, recently won a, uh, uh, an award from the ACM, the Associated Computing Machinery, uh, for having one of the best uh, papers in the past 15 years. So this uh, paper talked about simultaneous multi-threading, which is something that's used in many processors uh, today. Um, Mahir Bellari also won another ACM award. Um, he had developed uh, protocols, secure protocols that you use uh, whenever you, you do Amazon transactions. Um, so anytime you're working on Amazon and your credit card isn't stolen, isn't stolen you, can, you can thank Mahir. Uh, and uh, Heinrich uh, works in computer graphics and he actually won an Academy Award for his uh, work on uh, visualizing uh, surfaces. So uh, this uh, work is, I'm sure you've all seen it in uh, Lord of the Rings, Gollum's skin, for instance, was, was part of the rendering that he did for that. Uh, we have a number of great staff or uh, faculty um, th that uh, win, constantly win awards for teaching. Uh, in fact, one of them, uh, Rick Ord, who will be uh, presenting after this um, uh, in the student session, has won the, uh, the, the Jacobs School of Engineering Award so many times that they've disqualified him from, from competing anymore. Uh, we have a great building. It's uh, about five years old. Um, we welcome you to come over and look at this building. We'll have tours. Um, and there's also a num number, we're very collaborative uh, engineering school, so there's a number of uh, other opportunities in San Diego Supercomputing Center and CalIT2 and uh, Scripps as well. Uh, Frieder mentioned this, but we have a lot of ties to industry, um, a lot of internships, co-ops that you can do for credit. 
Um, and also, Frieder stole my joke, unfortunately. So we were, we're, we're a good department, and we're, we're looking to get to number two. So. But he's the dean, so he's allowed to steal my joke. Um, and this is a web page that you can find more information. Um, and uh, also, um, people that you'll meet later today um, are two staff members, outstanding staff members, Pat and Vieira. These are the people that you'll interface with a lot. Uh, I'm the chair of the undergraduate program. Uh, Keith Marzullo will also be there. He's the chair of the department, and I think uh, Rajesh will be there for a little bit. He's, he'll be your chair when you come in uh, this fall. Uh, Keith's uh, stepping down after many, many years. And then these are the undergrads that are going to be talking after this. These are the, the people that you can ask questions to, um, and they'll give you the real answers. So that's all I've got.